The reality is that I have the opportunity as a QC in employed practice to be involved in some of the biggest, most important, most legally significant high stakes disputes uh, in the world. I suppose I, I wanted a career where I could be an expert in something and where I would continue to learn throughout my career. Um, the job that I do now, being a QC, um, remaining an advocate, but also being a partner in a law firm comprising both solicitors and barristers, is a role that simply didn't exist until about six or seven years ago. My path to the independent bar was a very conventional one. I went straight from school to university where I studied history and then straight into the law conversion course, now the GDL, and then the BVC and 12 months of pupillage. From being a student at Gray's Inn, benefiting from the training and the financial support which the Inn offered through 20 years as a barrister in private practice, including 15 years as one of the junior counsel to the Crown, through taking silk, and then after taking silk, um, the new and enhanced opportunities which employed practice has offered me, including most recently an appearance last week in the Supreme Court dealing with fundamental elements of the law of restitution and the law of limitation, the greatest challenges, I think, of my career to date. When I initially looked into moving into employed practice, I was sceptical, partly, I think, out of a fear of the unknown. Um, but when I met the partners here and some of the other people that work here, I was extremely impressed by the calibre of the people working here and the very high quality of the work which the firm undertakes. One of the big advantages from a client's perspective, I think, is that everybody in the team, barristers, solicitors, researchers, data scientists, forensic accountants, are involved from the very beginning. First, the reality is that um, I have the opportunity as a QC in employed practice to be involved in some of the biggest, most important, most legally significant high stakes disputes in the world. A lot of the work that I'm doing these days is in international arbitrations and I have international arbitration cases, both commercial and investor state hearings coming up in Paris and in Zurich later this year. I'm extremely grateful for the opportunities which the employed bar has given me to continue to practice as an advocate. It may be counterintuitive that the opportunities I had for advocacy are significantly enhanced now that I've moved into employed practice, but that is undoubtedly the case. The truth is, I want to come into the office. I feel um, it's beneficial for me to come into the office every day or most days because it's a much more collegiate and collaborative way of working and I feel that um, I get a lot more support from colleagues than would be the case in the independent bar. And as I've got older, uh, with a young family to support, the advantages of a regular income which allows me to budget and to make plans for the future have also taken on greater importance. One advantage of working in my current role is that the flow of work is more regular and predictable. Having the visibility days and weeks in advance as to what one is likely to be doing, rather than, as is notorious at the independent bar, picking up a brief which may or may not be very well prepared the night before a distant hearing, is a real advantage. Had it not been for Grey's Inn, I would never have been able to come to the bar. Uh, without the support, including specifically the financial support which I received in terms of scholarships, there's no way I could have afforded um, to become a barrister in private practice.